साउथ एशियन क्विज कॉन्टेस्ट सी एम सी क्विज मेनिया सीजन फाइव पूर्ण शिक्षित समाज को परिकल्पना प्रेजेंटेड बाय चितवन मेडिकल कॉलेज सी एम सी भरतपुर चितवन प्राउड टू बी एसोसिएटेड विथ स्टडी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया रेल गुरखा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आर जी आई टी ऑस्ट्रेलिया एडमिशन ऑफिस ग्रेस इंटरनेशनल उत्तरी सड़क काठमांडू पावर बाय बुमरंग इंटरनेशनल एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज नर्सिंग स्पेशलिस्ट फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया उत्तरी सड़क काठमांडू सैमसंग गैलेक्सी जे फाइव एंड जे सेवन 2016 edition Valley Public School Sundar Basti Bangal Kathmandu give your child the privilege of education at Valley Public Official Bank Krishi Vikas Bank Limited Tapai hamro ghar aangan ko bank brought to you by The World is here at Sharda University Where are you Grace International Education and Migration connecting life and learning since 2006 Bishwas ko prateek Bara Jewelry, Srinath Collection, World Class Fabric and Base Poke Tailory. Sponsored by Sima Academics, the leading institute for CA classes since 2004. British degree at an affordable cost. ISMT College, Tinkune, Kathmandu. Golden Gate International College, Batis Putali, Kathmandu. Everest College, Truly Management College, Thapathali, Kathmandu. Henry Ford International College Kalanki near Kalanki Mandir Kathmandu Access Education Network Simply Better Way to Learn Kantipur International Open Education Consultancy Center of Excellence for Overseas Studies since 2004 Jibro pad ke tahat ke chhatke Expert Education and Visa Services Don't settle for the second best. Rely on expert. Utsav Footwear, hundred percent consumer comfort. Think Footwear, think Utsav. Landmark Education, as smart as you are. Knowledge Partner, Kathmandu Post. Organized by Accretive Media Private Limited. Co-sponsor, Kathmandu Engineering College. KEC Kalimati Kathmandu Gate Asia's first academy affiliated with Hotellery Swiss Mandikatar Kathmandu Meet Education Putali Sarak Kathmandu Royal Education Foundation Nayavaneshwar Chowk Kathmandu Nepal Top Subdita Buddha Publication Anamnagar Kathmandu Prime College Naya Bazar Kushibu Kathmandu Hot Six Power Up Drink Cambridge Institute of Technology Namaste and good evening. This is South Asian Quiz Contest, CMC Quiz Mania. This is Chitwan Medical College presentation in association with Royal Gorkha Institute of Technology Australia, Boomerang International Services, Nursing Specialist for Australia, Valley Public School, Sundar Basti Bangal Kathmandu, Samsung Galaxy J5 J7 2016 edition, Official Bank Krishi Vikas Bank Limited, Tapai Hamro Ghar Aangan Ko Bank, brought to you by Sarada University, Grace International Education and Migration. Raha Jewelry, Srinath Collection, World Class Fabric and Base Poke Tailoring, organized by Attractive Media, Knowledge Partner, Kathmandu Post and Official Airlines, Yeti Airlines, guys. It's wonderful to see you guys here. I have, as usual, three different educational institutions and they're from three different countries. We have Pakistan, Roots International School, Richmond Campus, and we have Ugain Academy from Bhutan and Notre Dame College, Dhaka, Bangladesh again. You know, I cannot say, the least I can say about Bangladesh is we had absolute fun. You know, there was a cultural exchange. There was a lot of dancing and singing, both in Bengali and in Nepali. It's a wonderful experience. I get that, you know, recollection right now. So welcome you all to CMC Quiz Mania season five. Before I actually start bombarding you with questions, let's go through the introduction round. Okay, guys, I want to start from Pakistan. Pakistan, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Shah Saud and uh, I'm from New York City. <coughs> national schools and we represent the Pakistan here. Great. My name is Adir Khan. I am from 
uh, Roots International School representing Pakistan. Great, wonderful to have you here at Roots International from Pakistan. Ugain Academy. My name is Dash Tengel and I'm from Ugain Academy and I represent Bhutan. Right. My name is Dashin Pelyang Dorji and I'm from Ugain Academy and I represent Bhutan. Welcome here and it's nice to see a lady in the team. And Notre Dame College, Bangladesh. My name, my name is Redwan Ahmed Muid. I'm from Notre Dame College and I'm representing Bangladesh. Great. My name is Sheikh Sakin Samad. I'm from Notre Dame College and I'm representing Bangladesh. Great. Bangladesh, Bhutan, Pakistan. Made the best team come forward. Okay, my best wishes to you guys. I'm not going to hit around the bush. I'm going to get there and start bombarding you with questions. All right, guys? Now, since you guys are different countries, I just got your name and introduction. It's probably appropriate to let you know my name as well. My name is Rajiv Samal, and I work in the Nepali cinema here for the last 26 years, and I'm only 24 years old, okay? So you do your maths. <laughs> All right, guys, Roots International School, Richmond Campus, Pakistan, Ugain Academy, Bhutan, and Notre Dame College, Bangladesh. We have different rounds. We have six-year round, we have mixed bag, we have buzzer round and then we have puzzle block, and then we have the spelling round, and then we have, last but not the least, rapid fire round, okay? And as usual in CMC Quizmania season five, we begin from six shot round. I'm gonna ask you two questions each, okay? One after the other. You know, I began from this side, and I'm not gonna do it differently now, and Bangladesh, Notre Dame College, you happen to be on this side, so the first question out of the two and six year round coming along your way at CMC Quiz Mania season five is as follows. What is the sound of cheetah called? The sound of cheetah, the animal. A, chirp, B, roar, C, growl, D, gibber. Gibber? You say gibber, you want to take a second chance? That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, it's not a gibber. Growl. You go for a growl? Oh, unfortunately, you missed it. The sound of a cheetah is not a growl, is not a gibber. They actually chirp like birds, cheetah. All right, question number two, Ugain Academy. During the launch of which of the following advertising supported web mail service, many people thought it was an April Fool's Day prank. Your options are A, Yahoo, email, B, Gmail, C, Hotmail, D, none of the above. Yahoo. Yahoo. No, that's not the answer I'm looking for. Go for the second option. Hotmail. You say Hotmail. It was actually Gmail. When they announced Gmail, people thought that they were playing April Fool pranks because there was already Hotmail, there was email, and now Gmail, it must be a prank, but it actually existed. Okay, guys? Roots International School, Richmond Campus, Pakistan. You guys ready? Okay. Steve Jobs turned down a partial liver transplant from which of the following personality two years before dying of cancer? The options are A, Bill Gates, B, Carlos Slim, C, Tim Cook, D, Jack Dorsey. Bill Gates. You go for Bill Gates, unfortunately you'll have to go for your second option, second chance. Tim Cook. Bingo, correct. Better late than never. Pakistan, well done, all right guys? Bhutan, Bangladesh, nothing to worry guys, nothing to worry. Just keep your cool, keep your energy. This is just the beginning. Now the second question from six year round and the last question from the six year round, Bangladesh. How much time does a moment technically refer? A, 60 seconds, B, 90 seconds, C, 120 seconds, D, 180 seconds. When you say a moment, how many? 60 seconds. 60 seconds. You want to go for the second option? 90 seconds. You go for 90 seconds and you hit the nail on the head. Absolutely correct. Well done. Well done. Now Bhutan. Which is the fastest human sense? A. Touching. B. Seeing. C. Hearing. D. Smelling. Which is the fastest? Seeing. You say that's the fastest human sense? I say that is wrong. Smelling. You say smelling? Unfortunately, you got it wrong. You should have used your common sense, you know. Sound travels very fast. So it's hearing. A roots, Islamabad, Pakistan. What does SPAM, S-P-A-M, SPAM stand for in computer technology? What does it mean? Your options. Strange people's annoying mail. 
B. Stupid problem at mailbox. C. Something posing as male. D. Send post all members. C. Something posing as male. Then go. What is your name? Shah Saud. Huh? Shah Saud. Well done, guys. You got it. You know, I didn't have such a good takeoff, but the landing was smooth. Thank you, Pakistan. We landed very smoothly. All right. End of Sikhsha round. Now, forget about Sikhsha round, guys. Sikhsha round is history. Okay. Let's look forward. Let's think about the future, and the future is mixed bag. You know what mixed bag involves? I'm going to give you various categories like history and geography, and then I'm going to give you, you know, science, technology, movies, and music, and literature, and then current affairs and sports, and you get to pick a subject. All right, guys. As usual, Bangladesh, you are the guinea pig. I start from you guys. What do you guys want? Movie and music. Movies and music. Okay, guys. I hope you guys know your movies and music. Who is the lead vocalist? of Guns and Roses. Rose. Rose. Absolutely correct. Well done, Bangladesh. You cannot always be wrong, can you? Right? There has to be a bright day. Ugen Academy, have a pick. Sports. You want sports? I'll give you something about sports. All right, here we go. The crime rate drops to almost zero in Philippines when which boxing player is in the ring? A very popular Filipino boxer, when he is having a match, the Pochino crime Manoy. rate goes down. Huh? Pochino Manoy. Nope. It is actually Manny Pacua. Roots, what do you want? History. History. Which South Asian country has had the most changes to its national flag in the 20th century than any other country in the world? They had the most changes in their national flag in the 20th century than any other country in the world. Afghanistan? Bingo! If you guys didn't know the answer to this, it would have been a shame. You guys are the next door neighbor of Afghanistan, right? Well done, guys. You know how many times did they change? Three times. Nope. It's much more than that. They actually changed 23 times. All right, guys. Notre Dame College. Yeah, sports. Sports, okay. Which is the Olympic game Played with stone and brooms. B R O O M S, brooms. Uh, Olympic game played with stone and brooms. Curling. Curling. Okay, I take that as the right answer. Curling, all right. Okay, give them a bigger round of applause. Well done. Okay, in Academy. What do you guys want? Science and technology. Science and technology. Which country recently launched world's biggest radio telescope? in search for extraterrestrial life. They launched a world's biggest radio telescope in search of extraterrestrial. USA. Nope. China. Absolutely correct. Well done. You do get marks. You get 50 points. Well done. This was their question. Now there's a question specially designed for you. What do you want? Current affairs. Current affairs. What was the theme of the World Tourism Day in 2016? What was the theme? Florissants? Notre Dame College, would you like to try? All right, Bougain Academy. Okay. The 2016 World Tourism Day, the theme was, the slogan was, Tourism for All, Promoting Universal Accessibility. All right, guys? Now, I'm done with Mixed Bag. And I'm done with Sikha Round. Two segments of the Quizmania Season 5. Now, we'll be moving on to the next round. And the next round happens to be the buzzer round. But before we actually get into the buzzer round, let's take a small break. Welcome back. After that small break, I have a Notre Dame College from Bangladesh, Ugain Academy from Bhutan, and Roots International School, Richmond Campus from Islamabad, Pakistan. Now, I have just completed uh, the six share round and the mixed bag, and we're about to enter the buzzer round. Buzzer round, you guys know, it's all about buzzing the buzzer, right? But one thing that I want to remind you guys is, and please keep it in your mind, is let me complete the question, okay? Even if you give me the right answer and if you interrupt me, you'll be marked negatively. So be careful. Buzzer round. I have six questions. What sum does the opposite side of dice always add up to? Yes, Islamabad. Seven. You go for the number seven. They're clapping because you're right. You're absolutely correct. 
Well done. All right, guys. Question number two. Bangladesh, Bhutan, on your toes, guys. Okay. okay. April Fool's Day was banned in which Asian country in 2016? April Fool was banned in one country in 2016. What is the name of that country? It was not banned in Nepal. It was banned in one country. I won the name of that country. All right, your time is up. Unfortunately, the question went unanswered. And the correct answer is China. All right, guys, China banned April Fool. Okay, now next question, guys, pay attention. Let me complete the question, okay? What does FIR stand for? F yes. FIR. FIR. Uh, the full form. Yes. What does FIR stand for? Federal Investigation huh? Report. Federal Investigation Reporting. This was relatively easy. I mean, FIR actually stands for First Information Report. First Information Report. All right, guys. Now, this is question number four, and this is a tricky question, okay? This is a riddle. If Mr. Smith's peacock lays an egg in Mr. Jones' yard, who owns the egg? Mr. Who owns the egg? The peacock. Mr. Joe. No, you don't get a second chance. See, I told you, riddle is a tricky question. You gotta apply your common sense. Do peacock lay eggs? Peacocks don't lay egg. Pea hen lay egg. So, peacock don't lay egg, all right? It's the pea hen. So you gotta apply your common sense. This is a tricky question. Oh, question number five, guys. All right. What? is the name of the large salty lake which lies between Israel and Jordan. Large salty lake. Yes. Dead Sea. Bingo. Correct. You're dead right. Well done, guys. I'm always happy and excited when I get the right answer. All right, guys. Now, this is a very easy one. Okay, this is a true or false. Botanically, botanically, strawberries are berries. True or false? Strawberries are berries. Are berries bad? Yes. True. You say true? Yeah. I say it's not true. It's false. Strawberries are not of the berries family. They're on their own. Strawberry. Strawberry, they are the stem. They are derived from a single flower with more than one ovary, making them an aggregate fruit. True berries are simple fruits stemming from one flower, which with one ovary and typically have several seeds. Berries have several seeds. All right, guys. I'm done with buzz around. You know, forget about buzz around. But technically, we're still in the buzz around because this is sight and sound, and it involves the buzzer. This time around, you're going to see something on the screen or hear something, and I'm going to ask you questions accordingly. Okay? I want the name of this guy. Yes, Bangladesh. Stephen Hawking. Absolutely correct. Bingo. Well done, guys. Now, question number two, inside and south. Which two continents are separated by the narrow tunnel? Islamabad, yes. Europe and Africa. Absolutely correct. Well done, Islamabad. You know, you press the buzzer, I call your name, and then you answer it. Okay, don't press the buzzer and shout. All right, guys, now, this is going to be the audio round. So open your ears. Listen carefully. Hey, Jude, don't make it bad. Finally. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let it ring. Let me ask the question first, guys. The name of the band. Yes, Bangladesh. The Beatles. Absolutely correct. Bingo. I could see that. You guys were very impatient and pretty confident about that, and you got it correct. Well done. All right. You'll be seeing something or hearing something, and I'll be asking you a question accordingly. Question number four. Think about how, in this age of accelerating technology, we can finally take on these inequities and we can solve them. Imagine, just for the sake of discussion, that you have I want the name of Imagine. this guy. Imagine. Name just of this guy. Big Gates. Absolutely correct. Well done. Yes. All right. Now, the fifth question, the second last in the sight and sound. Stop. 
Name the band. Yes, Bangladesh. Foo Fighters. Absolutely correct. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. All right, now the last question from Sight and Sound, the sixth question, okay? Please, eyes on monitor. <coughs> Mr. Jolly's emphysema don't care for cigars. <coughs> <coughs> Madam, <coughs> do you know about the proposed 13th Amendment to the yes, Constitution? Sir, everybody knows of it. <coughs> President. Okay, I want the name of the movie. Bangladesh. Lincoln. Yes. All right, guys, now. We're done with sight and sound. Technically, the buzz around is out of the way. And now we're just about to enter the puzzle block. You guys know what puzzle block is? I give you a so-called word in a random order, and you have to rearrange it into a proper word. As usual, Bangladesh, Notre Dame. Your first so-called word is Q-U-I-L-D-I. Your second, S P A S O N I. S P A S O N I. R A D E S D S. L I M O N I L I E R A. C-I-O-N-E-G-E-D V-I-N-I-B-I-S-E-L Invisible All right, you got that correct, but no time for the bonus question. Your time is up. Now, Ugain Academy, are you guys ready? You know the rules pretty much, okay? T O M R H E. Easy one. Can you repeat it? T pass, T pass, pass. pass, okay. P I S D T E U. P I S D T E U. Residue. Huh? Residue. P pass, pass, pass. Okay. G. A N L A G U E. Language. Which language is known as Cape Dutch? Pass. Cape Dutch. Okay. T U N E I M. Minute. How many minutes are there in a day? How many minutes? 2600. Huh? 2600. R T I A T S. R T I A T S. Pass. All right. The other one is P L I S E P R. Can you repeat it? P L I S E P R. All right, guys, your time is up. Now, Islamabad, I come to you guys. Don't dilly dally on a question. If you don't know it, move on to the next one. S H U O. E. Pass. Okay. M E O V M N T E. Movement. What is the full form of KK, the movement held out in US? KKK. What do they stand for? Pass. All right. R I D T C R O E. Dictator. L U B I D N G I Pass M A D E G A Pass D U I J C L A I No. 
I'm done. I'm done with the puzzle blog and let's move on to the next one. Before we actually do that, let's go for a small break. All right, welcome back after that small break. We've just ended the puzzle block. Uh, now we're entering the spelling round. And here I'll be giving you two words each to each team. And this is an individual attempt. I'll be asking one word to one person in the team and another one for another. And you cannot consult each other, no whispering, no talking, okay? So, okay, the word is Barak. B A R O Q U E. B A R O O Q U E. Absolutely correct. Well done. B A R O Q U E. Well done, Notre Dame College. Meaning, it means period of artistic style that used exaggerated motion and clear, easily interpreted detail to produce drama, like a melodrama movie. And the origin is from the Portuguese language, okay? The second person in the team. Your word is fallacious. F A L L A C I O U S. Fallacious. Did you say 2 L? Yes. Absolutely correct. Well done. <laughs> All right, Team B. Forbearance. Forbearance is someone who's good natured, tolerance of delay or incompetence. F O R B A R R O N S. Unfortunately, you got it wrong. It's actually F O R B E A R A N C E. Forbearance. Okay, it comes, the origin is Old English. All right, your turn. The second one. Garrulous. You are garrulous if you are talking too much of gossip, trivial conversation, then you are garrulous. You know, if you're talking nonsense, un, you know, non-stop. G-A-R-R-E-L-O-U-S. G-A-R-R? E-L-O-U-S. You got it wrong, it's G-A-R-R-U. L O U S, Garolus, okay? And it, the origin is Latin and English. Islamabad. Grandiloquent. Grandiloquent. Grandiloquent is when you exaggerate something, you know? You go for fishing, you catch a fish this small, and you say, I caught a big fish. Grandiloquent. G R A N D O L O Q U W E N T. Unfortunately, you missed the mark. It's G-R-A-N-D-I-L-O-Q-U-E-N-T. Grandiloquent, okay? And it means very, you know, lofty in style. And the origin is Latin and English. Your turn. Idiosyncratic. Idiosyncratic. I-D-I-O-S-Y-E-N-T-R-I-C. I -I uh, -E Idiosyncratic. You want to stick to that? Uh, S Y C N C T R I C. You got it all wrong. It's I D I O S Y N C R A T I C. Idiosyncratic means when you have a particular habit, individual habits, then that's your idiosyncrasy. Okay? And this word comes from English and Greek. All right, guys, I'm done. Spelling is out of the way. Let's get it out of our mind, okay? Past is past, history is history. You cannot rectify that. Let's think about the future or the present, and the present is rapid fire round. And this is the last segment in CMC Quiz Mini Season 5. Rapid fire round, 12 questions, and you get 60 seconds, okay? I'm gonna ask you questions rapidly. Rapid fire, Bangladesh, as usual from this side. You guys ready? You get only 60 seconds, okay? Algeria is a country situated in which continent? Africa. Whose assassination on 28 June 1914 triggered the First World War. Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Who was named the richest African-American of the 20th century? African-American. Pass. What type of animal is a macu? Macacu. Bird. What is the full form of Yahoo? Pass. Which is the smallest satellite of Saturn? Pass. What is the first book of the Twilight series? Breaking Dawn. Which was the first element to be made artificial? First element to be made artificial. Pass. What is the national emblem of Indonesia? National emblem of Indonesia. Garuda. In hexadecimal system, the number 15 represents which letter? F. In which 
Unfortunately, your time is up. I only managed to ask you 10. I can see that you got some of it correct. Okay, Team B, Ugen Academy, Bhutan, the paradise in Earth. Are you guys ready? Honduras is a country lying in which continent? Europe. Austro-Hungary declared war on which country, thus beginning the First World War? Serbia. Who is the only major god to have the same name in both the Greek and Roman pantheons? Bas. What is another name for the abominable snowman? Another name. You guys should know this. Bas. What is the full form of DTH related to telecommunication? Bas. Which is the biggest satellite of Saturn? Titan. On which novel is the Game of Thrones series based? Bas. What is the atomic number of Mercury? What is the national emblem of Spain? Bus. While converting decimal value into binary value, how is number four written? S. What is the name of Harry Potter's owl? Edwin. Okay, I only managed to ask you 11 questions. All right, guys. Okay, it's all been recorded. Pakistan. Are you guys ready? 60 seconds, okay? 12 questions. Fiji is a country lying in which continent? Fiji. On which date was the Treaty of Versailles signed? Versailles, in which date was it signed? Treaty. 15 July. Who is an Iranian born US entrepreneur who also achieved title first female space tourist? She was Iranian Pass. born. Okay. What color is a giraffe's tongue? What is the color of a giraffe's tongue? Tom Brown. What is the full form of STOL related to flights? Pass. Which is the biggest satellite of Jupiter? Europa. Who created the famous five series? Pass. What is the atomic number of Mendelevium under whose name the periodic table was based on? I want the atomic number. Pass. I only managed to squeeze in eight questions in 60 seconds. Unfortunately, your time is up, Islamabad. All right, guys, you know what? I'm done. I don't have any more questions. And uh, my job here is pretty much over, except that I need to tell you your scores. You guys probably have been waiting patiently for that. It does matter, but it is not the end of the world. It is not the most important thing. I personally think you guys are here interacting, getting to know each other. That is the main point, okay? Winning or losing happens. But don't forget to smile. Where are your smiles? Smile all the time. Yes, guys. All right, now we're done. I don't have any more questions, but before I let you know your scores, I'm gonna take a small break. Welcome back after that small break. We have come to the end of this segment. The concluding round was just over with Rapid Fire Round, Rose International School, Richmond Campus, Islamabad, Pakistan. Thank you for coming all the way to Nepal. Ugain Academy, Punakha, Bhutan. Thank you for coming all the way. And Bangladesh, Notre Dame College. Thank you for being here, guys. Now, I have the scores in my hand. In a random order, I'm gonna begin from, I'll begin from this side, okay? Just random order. Pakistan. Roots International School, Richmond Campus. Your total score is 325. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Bhutan. Your total score is 650. Well done, guys. Give them a big round of applause. And Bangladesh, Notre Dame College. Some of the segment went relatively well for you guys. It's probably your evening because you have come out with a score of 1,600. So well done, guys. Notre Dame College, Tata, Bangladesh, well done. You are definitely the winner of this segment and you happen to be the runner-up. You know, runner-ups also have some kind of hope along the way. Maybe I will see you in the future, maybe I won't. There is some sort of hope. Islamabad Roots International School, Richmond Campus, thank you for being here, guys. Would you like to shake each other's hand? Yes. See, that brings smile on the face. I like that. 
And guys, it's wonderful having you here. I can see that how interactive you are. There's a kind of a camaraderie between you all, Pakistan, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. And why not? We belong to the same region, right? We have similar culture, similar food habits, a little bit of difference, but overall, generally, we are pretty similar to each other. So Bangladesh, Bhutan, and Pakistan, thank you so much. Bangladesh, you guys are the winner, so you are moving ahead. You don't get anything tonight but a handshake. You two will get the certificate of appreciation for being here. Alright? Okay, that brings us to the end of the South Asian CMC quiz mania. We had Bangladesh, we had Bhutan, we had Pakistan. Tonight, the Bangladesh takes the cake away. I will be seeing them along the way vying for the coveted prize of CMC Quiz Mania Season 5. But for tonight, we are wrapping up. I'll have to say goodnight, and I will see you next week, same time again. Good night and take care.